and take a firm stand for the Word of God. Take a stand for Jesus. If we stand for Him, He stands with us. Amen. If we won't leave Him, He won't leave us. Amen. If we don't forsake Him, He won't forsake us. If we'll be bold, we got to be bold and tell the people the truth. Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't know what the truth is. They don't know the truth when they see it. They don't know the truth when they hear it. That's right. Paul stood before Jesus. Jesus witnessed a good confession unto Paul. And Paul said, what is truth? He was looking truth right in the face and didn't even know the truth. Right. Jesus said, I am truth. Amen. I am truth. I give you the truth tonight. I give you Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. I come, amen, to lift up Jesus. Amen. I come to glorify God tonight. Praise the Lord. If I can't preach the truth, leave me out. Amen. But I'm here to give you the truth. Because I'm here to be a blessing to you, and I want to help you. I want to see you strengthened. I want to see you encouraged. I want to see you grow strong in the Lord. Amen. This is food for the soul. Oh, yes, Lord. This is soul food. This is kill or cure. The word of God is quick, it's powerful, it's sharper than a two-edged sword. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Yes, it's quick, it's powerful, it's sharp. Yeah. But it's the truth tonight. Yeah. And he encouraged Timothy to stand fast, be strong in Amen. the Lord. Amen. And in the power of his mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God wants us to be strong tonight. Yes. Amen. We're not strong in ourselves tonight. But it's he who's in us that's the strong one. Amen. And he said for us to be strong in the Lord. Be strong Amen. in the Lord. Yes. Praise God. God, he will make us strong. Yes. He'll give us the grace and the courage and the power to stand in this day that we're living oh, in. Thank you, Lord. Yes, people turn their ears from the truth. Many don't want the truth. That's right. They told Jeremiah, don't prophesy the truth. You think about that. Prophesy the seat. Tell us what we want to hear. <laughs> Praise God. Jeremiah got discouraged. He preached and it seemed like it was just going in one year and out the other. They didn't heed it. They didn't want it. They put him in the dungeon. Put him on bread and water. They wanted to kill him. And he went through so much he became discouraged. And he said, God, I'll henceforth speak no more in your name. I'm through. But then something began to burn within him. Yeah. He felt the fire of the Holy Ghost began to burn within him. And he said, it's like fire in my bones. Church, it's like fire tonight. It is fire tonight, praise God. Fire in our bones tonight. And he said, I was weary with poor burn. And I couldn't keep silent. I just couldn't hold it back. Amen. I'll tell you, there's just something about God when the anointing comes and it's not you, you just can't hold it back or I'm not. Amen. He gave me a charge. He commanded me to preach his word and to not sugarcoat it. Whether they want it or don't want it, preach the word. Be instant in season. A lot of times you feel like it's out of season, but somebody calls and you answer. Somebody, amen, you may feel like that you don't have a, a message, but somebody calls and says, come up. Be instant. Instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Amen. He said, son, stand strong. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. For I am now. Paul said, I'm now ready to be offered. He said in one place, to be absent in body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. As for me, I'm ready. As for me, I'd rather go and be with Jesus. Oh, yes. But for the church, for you, it is more needful that I stay with you. Amen. How much longer he stayed after that? Well, we don't know. Or I don't. 
I'm not a great theologian tonight. I'm just a little old country preacher. Bless you, Lord. But anyway, and he gave Timothy the charge. He said, son, I'm now ready to be offered. Paul's ready. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Yes. Praise God. Hang in our church and hold on and keep the faith. Amen. Amen. Keep the faith. Fight on tonight. Hey. It don't hey. matter what hey. it looks like tonight. Hey. Keep on fighting. Yeah. Keep yeah. on fighting. Yeah. Amen. Set your goal. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. Hey. Amen. I have fought a good fight and I've kept the faith. Amen. Amen. I still got the faith. Amen. I'm going to die in the faith. Amen. The gospel that I preach, I'm going to die in the faith. I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith. My course is finished. Amen. God kept Paul through all the trials and tribulations, through all that Paul had went through, the jail houses and the shipwreck. God kept Paul. He preserved him and kept him alive. But now Paul knows the time has come. This time has come. It's sure this time he's going to be beheaded. But he ain't going down in defeat. Amen. He's not going to be defeated. He's going to die in victory. Amen. He's going to die with the victory. Hallelujah. He's going to die in Jesus. Amen, because uh, to be absent here, Paul said, I'm going to be present with the Lord. I'm going to be with Jesus, praise the Lord. And that's what I've worked for. I've fought a good fight. I have kept the faith, and I've finished the course. Henceforth there's laid up for me, Timothy, a crown of life. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but to all them that love his appearance. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you looking for that blessed hope oh, and your appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ? Yes. Oh, he died in that hope. Yes. Amen. I want to die in that hope because I'm living in that hope tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm in the faith tonight. You're in the faith. Fight the good fight of faith. It's not going to be long now. That's right. Amen. Just hold on and keep on holding on. Amen. Amen. 